Hey there guys, this is Jack over at Hi Redbird, and I do want to welcome you to week 7 of raising a pair of green cheek conyers, or as I like to call it at this point, barely contained chaos. Now if you guys missed out last week, I did post the week 6 update, but unfortunately in editing the video, I forgot to take out the sound of the baby green cheeks giving their feeding response call. Uh, now, some people think this is adorable, it's a sign of baby birds that are doing well, they're healthy, they're excited to see food. Others find it grating and annoying. I'll give you a hint of what that sounds like here. Now, as you can imagine, 10 minutes of that with me trying to explain what I was doing did not create for the most thrilling video. Now, one of the things you'll notice about this one that's a little bit different, so these birds are in a travel carrier. It's smaller than what their long-term cage will be, but it gives me the opportunity to easily bring these birds to and from work with me because they're having to go to work with me every day. Uh, you'll notice I am using a quick link on that door because we have discovered how to open the door. It makes it magical. Uh, we have also discovered that it's a lot of fun to just poop on the table. Now these birds, the reason that I call it barely contained chaos, you will notice they are fully feathered. They are fully capable of flight. Uh, so for those reasons, you could almost consider them adult birds. They are problem solving. They're learning how to open things like the door. Uh, they are getting supervised playtime with toys as well, but they are still babies. They do still require some hand feeding. Uh, and just like babies, even though they think they are grown up, they lack any notion of sense or manners. Now, one thing you'll notice here, because these birds are very, very excited about the food. They lack any kind of patience. I have upgraded to a larger syringe in terms of feeding them. Now, when you use a larger syringe, it can be a little bit difficult to meter out the appropriate amount. Uh, the larger syringe is going to put food out a lot faster. So what my recommendation is, if you are going to use the larger syringe, make sure that the numbers on the syringe are facing you because you can have a much better sense of how quickly you are going if you can watch those numbers. Now, of course, just like before, we are going to clean the babies. Uh, now, another thing we're going to do later in the day, we are going to get a weight on these babies. They are not getting weighed every single feeding, but they are getting weighed every single day. Since they are weaning, their hand feedings are being cut back. They are starting to pick at different types of food in their food bowl. But first thing in the morning, you can see they are absolutely uh, very, very excited to be feeding. Uh, they will give just about everything a feeding response. So when I'm cleaning their face with that napkin, they will latch onto that and give it a feeding response in the hope that it will give it more food. Um, but you can see the part of the problem with that enthusiastic feeding response, as I've told you all along, when that bird is going with that feeding response, when the wings are going, it does have the potential to create quite a bit of mess. So you'll see I use those paper towels. I have those prepped and ready to go. Now I will also do the feeding in a couple bursts, um, just because, uh, you know, the baby can only hold so much at a time. And especially when you get that feeding response, it's almost like they get bored. Um, so they will move their face. So I don't know if you guys could see at that last moment, uh, the bird pulled his head back. So a good amount of it went on the side of his face, uh, which then caused it to drop into a variety of places. Uh, and then when he shook his face to get himself clean, uh, he inevitably got a significant amount on the side of my face. So I guess turnabout is fair play. Uh, now, one thing you'll notice with these babies is they go everywhere. Uh, there is a reason that I said it was barely contained chaos. Uh, the good news is we can look at it from a positive standpoint and recognize that 
these birds are getting to interact with a wide variety of different things and they are very, very comfortable with them. Now, one thing I do work on with these babies after they are done with their feeding, because they are going to be much calmer after that, is just basic socialization. Now, I do want to make clear, we are working on this. We do not have a handle on it yet. Uh, it's almost like when somebody has small children and you see photos of them and they're smiling and they're happy in every single photo. And what you don't see is the temper tantrums that happen when that child is at home. Working on socialization, working on stepping up, all of those different behaviors, it is going to go differently every single time that you do it. Uh, it can be a little bit frustrating, but the important part here is just to be consistent. We work on this every single feeding. Another thing we can do that you can see right here, we work on turning training into a kind of game. Because especially for babies like this, it's going to be a little more exciting. It's going to be more positive. They're going to be more interested in doing it. And this is an approach that you can take for training all sorts of different behaviors. Getting them to step up on sticks. If you need to, to towel your birds, to restrain them, if they are at the bed or anything like that, you can, of course, train that as well. Now, another thing we do uh, every single day at the minimum, but I will do it several times a day with these babies, is change out their paper. Now that's going to give me a couple different things. First of all, it gives the babies a cleaner environment. They are still babies. Uh, they do not have the same system as an adult bird, so I do want to try to keep them as clean as possible. It also lets me monitor their fecal output because as they are weaning, uh, I do want to make sure that they are getting plenty of food. I want to make sure that their fecals are looking normal. And it also lets me see if they are picking through their food. At this age especially, I do expect a lot of waste because they're not exactly sure what solid food is. But by looking at it on that paper, I can at least see that they are showing some interest in it. Uh, and you can look in the bowl, you'll see that the amount that is left over is going to be less than the amount that I put in, which is ideally what you are looking for, because that means it went into your bird. Now, these guys are absolutely great. I have loved raising these birds, um, but we are reaching the home stretch with them. They are in the process of weaning. We are down to just a few hand feedings a day. Uh, the plan is over the next week or two to just slowly ease them back as they show more interest in eating solid foods. That is, of course, my plan. Uh, the babies, at least for right now, have other opinions. And that's one of the things to remember at this stage of raising baby birds. Before, I have showed you a lot of, here's how much these babies should eat, here's how often you should do the feeding, here's how you should do this. Weaning really takes place at the speed that your babies allow for it. So the best advice I can give you here is to pay attention, get things like weights on your birds, because weights will give you a good idea if your bird is losing too much weight, because um, I do expect a slight drop when we start weaning, but I obviously don't want them to lose a ton of weight. Uh, you may need to continue hand feeding for a while. Uh, of course, because the baby pooped on the table, we also have to clean everything very, very well. So I hope these videos have been helpful for you guys. Give it a thumbs up, thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you just appreciate that there aren't baby birds shrieking at you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I do need to say thank you to my Patreon patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can find out more by visiting Hi Red Bird on Patreon or clicking the link in the description section down below if you would like more information. Thanks!